Hey, this is Random Random Man coming to you for another review of a uh, Lego set. And today I'm going to be reviewing uh, my first Lego Atlantis <laughs> review. And it's on the Lego Atlantis Sea Jet. This set is tw has 23 pieces. Its set number is 8072. And it's ages 5 to 12 and comes with one minifigure so this mi this minifigure is pretty detailed it has a new minifigure head I believe um smiley face and a shock face with a double sided head and uh, double print to the torso which is actually pretty cool That's a Special stuff on there. Printed legs. Trident. And green flippers. Pretty cool. <coughs> and lastly, the breathing apparatus, which can also be used for Lego space. Green visor that doesn't put bubbler down. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. Now on to the actual sea jet. It's kind of an odd design, and uh, uh, and I don't know how divers can actually like get around with this, but still, it looks kind of cool once you think about it. it. Has a light right here, um, wings, so so the diver can actually like move around. And a claw for grabbing things. I always imagined it for grabbing Atlantean keys, but this set doesn't have any Atlantean keys at all. So, yeah. A handlebar so the diver can grab on to it and it could control the sea jet. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. And here's a manual. Small. And uh, the basic instructions. And on the back, here's what I want to show you guys. Oops. Um, it has a picture of all of the Atlantis sets that are out right now. Well, that are going to be out in 2010. Um, the sets that I have at the moment right now are Monster Crab Clash and the Manta Warrior, which is not featured on here. Um. And, uh, I recently ordered the Rec Raider, which is right here, and I'll possibly get, be getting in the mail next week, along with the LEGO City repair truck. So, yeah, I'll be doing review of those, and I'll also be doing review on the Monster Crab Clash, and possibly the Manta Warrior. So, yeah. And lastly, the box. The box is small, but... The set costs three dollars and forty nine cents. So, and uh, just has a picture on the back showing two sets, the the biggest sets of the Atlantis series so far. So, yeah. If you guys don't know this all by now, um, I flatten my boxes to preserve the boxes. So. And so I can keep them, and uh, yeah, I don't I don't like throwing them out because some of the boxes are really detailed and have cool features on them. So anyway, this set's actually pretty cool. I give it a solid 8.5 out of 10 just because of the cool um, C jet and the cool new figure. So yeah. Um. Anyway, please rate, comment, subscribe. And if you guys can see that right there, um, those are Rock Band 2 drums. And they're regular because they have, like, good wood mods on them. And if you're, like, a geek of that, you can just, uh, check out my brother's channel, Random Random Man 2. He does videos of Rock Band and Guitar Hero, and he uses those drums. So please subscribe to his channel as well as mine. Anyway, like I said before, please rate, comment, and subscribe. This has been Random Random Man.
and I'll catch you later on the next review. So thank you for watching.